Hi everyone, this is Jackie from Project Piaba, and today I have another activity for you to do at home, and this activity focuses on deforestation. So, what is deforestation? Deforestation is when the trees and the plants and the things like that are removed from a forest, um, either by humans or not by humans. But in the case of the Amazon, it's an actual real serious problem, and it's being done um, mostly by humans who are um, doing either slash and burn agriculture or timber harvest or um, things like that where they're cutting the forest down and using it for for human uses um, and then once the soils are depleted they move on to another place and do another thing like that um, so this has significant environmental impacts and we can talk about that a little bit later on in the video but for now we're going to do a kitchen table science experiment however um, if your house is not used to the level of mess that mine is because my roommate is a pigeon um, you may want to take this activity outside or um, someplace like that because there is soil involved um, <laughs> so we're gonna uh, that that be known um, so I started this activity off I have a lasagna pan that I've put into a um, little trash can um, just so that I don't get soil in my lasagna pan um, and I wanted to start out by showing you I have this plant um, this actually is a tropical plant they do have things like this in the rainforest in the Rio Negro and I wanted to start by removing the soil from the bottom of this plant and showing you what plants are like below the ground. And a lot of you are probably familiar with this. If you've ever planted a plant in your garden or if you've ever seen a plant when it gets uprooted, but there's more to a plant than the green part on the top. There's actually, if you look, see all those roots there? Those are important for the plant because that's how it gets the nutrients from the soil up into the plant itself. Um, so I'm actually gonna repot this guy after the video. I just wanted to show you his roots while I had them out. Um, but so those are important to the plant and they're also important to the ecosystem because those plants and the root systems that they have, so not just plants but also trees, play an important role in the ecosystem and in retaining um, the soil that is there. So for our experiment, you're gonna need some rocks and things. So I found these out in the yard. And so I'm just gonna kind of put, make like little piles of rocks here, like that. And then you're going to put some soil on top of your rocks. And hopefully you get more soil on your rocks than you get on your kitchen table or your porch if you do this outside. And you may notice that it's actually kind of hard to get the soil to stay on top of the rocks. Hmm, interesting. So now I have this little scrap of towel that I've been saving for this activity because this towel was totally done with its life as a towel. Um, but this is gonna represent the um, root system of the plants. So, let me just go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna just put it right there on top of that under layer of soil. And then I'm gonna actually put a little bit more soil on top of it, because why not? Okay, cool. So we've got soil on top of our bedrock in our uh, watershed here. And let's just imagine the river kind of runs in between or in the middle here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the camera a little bit closer so that you can see this better. And now I've got our rainstorm here. So if you're doing this activity along with me, go ahead and pause the video now so that you can talk about what you think is gonna happen. So it's starting to rain. First it's raining on the part that doesn't have any plants. Now it's raining on the part that does, has the root carpet there. Uh oh. So it's raining pretty hard over here now.
but it looks like when it's raining over where the roots are, it's kind of just like soaking more into that towel and into that root mat. And the soil doesn't really go away. Here, it's actually starting to just slide right down this rock like big gobs of soil. And I bet if we were to have like a catastrophic flood here, it's like an Amazon rainstorm and a big soil slide. Uh oh. And if we do that over here, some of it slides off, but there's still some there. And actually, this is the really important part. Underneath this root mat is still all that soil. Look, some of it even stuck to it when I pulled it up. Is still all that soil, right? So the soil that's under the roots is really pretty safe. The soil that's not, that's just sitting out on top of the bedrock, is really not safe. So, and then if you add things like, like cows, right? I didn't have cows. I had a sheep from my nativity set and I had horses, right? If you had things like this, stomping around by the riverbank, knocking all that soil loose, I bet that makes it wash away even further. Sure does. So, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? I actually had tried a, um, a version of this experiment where I had um, chia seeds and I was like trying to plant chia seeds, but apparently I'm the only person in the world who didn't have a chia pet in the 80s and couldn't um, grow chia. Uh, <laughs> so if you wanna try this experiment with chia seeds, go ahead, that would be pretty fun. Um, so let's talk about this a little bit. Um, having, um, having your plants go away and having your trees go away um, from an ecosystem can do a lot of damage to the soils, right? Because with nothing really to hold those soils in place, they wash away. And it's not instant like this. It's not like one rainstorm. Um, but it is over a couple of years. And particularly when you have like a cattle ranch or something like that, where you have like cows stomping around and knocking all the soil um, loose and into the river and it washes out, um, that has profound effects on not only where the rainforest was, but also on the river where all of that soil is getting washed away, right? Because you have places that aren't used to having lots of, lots of soil and sediment in the water that all of a sudden do. Um, and that can have an important effect on the fish that live in those areas. So um, that is something to think about. But also, um, there's a lot of changes in, um, there's a lot of important things that trees do for the environment and for an ecosystem. Um, that don't, um, that stop happening once those trees go away. So we all know that, um, that trees take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen, right? So it's important for, for that in terms, of, um, in terms of those things, but also um, carbon being removed from the atmosphere through that process, through what those trees do, um, is actually really important in terms of mitigating things like climate change. And that makes rainforests a huge, what we call carbon sink. So that means that they remove carbon from the atmosphere. Um, but if you start cutting down the trees, and especially if you burn those trees, you are then releasing that carbon into the atmosphere instead of removing it. So um, that is pretty important in terms of a lot of things that are like, in terms of climate change and things like that. Um, but so why did I, why did I wanna show you this activity? Um, the biggest reason that I wanted to show you this activity is because um, when you live in the rainforest, there aren't a lot of things that you can do in order to um, feed yourself and support your family and feed your family and things like that. So if you um, want to cut down the rainforest to um, have a cattle ranch or to grow food or to grow coffee or things like that, um, that might be something that you would do. Just, you know, cut it down, grow some stuff, move on to a new place because it's huge, right? You know, the rainforest is huge, but if everyone is doing that, then it's actually quite bad, right? It's a huge effect on the environment. But um, if you instead have like a sustainable source of livelihood, so one of the things that, that Project Piaba is heavily involved in is um, fisheries in the Rio Negro. Right, so the people go out into the river, into the um, flooded forest area where um, when the water levels are receding and when the fish are like trapped in the flooded forest and they catch those fish. And then every year there's more baby fish um, and then they catch those fish and then they sell those fish and that's how they make their money and support their families, right? So it's not destructive to the environment because those fish have more babies every year 
And so it's not like there's less fish next year because you caught fish this year, right? So that's an example of a sustainable source of livelihood as opposed to if you, um, you know, do slash and burn agriculture or um, timber harvest or mining or things like that that are destructive to the environment. Um, so this can lead into a big discussion um, with your activity doers at home as to um, what types of, um, what are some what are some things that people can do in the rainforest to to take care of their families and how do people how do people live um because it's different than the way that we live here in, on this you know the south shore of massachusetts um so i wanted to talk a little bit about that um please do stay safe wash your hands they have dirt on them even if you don't have dirt on them right um <laughs> so have a great day and thanks for watching